Yo, and uh, welcome to Cheap Beer Reviews. As it might be noted, I do have the same t-shirt on as the previous video. That is because these two beer reviews have been done on the same day, because time and shit is on my side for about the five minutes about this one. So this one is an IPA, American IPA, locked in brewery. It's from batch 14. It's a, it's a short can and it's 5.5%. It says nothing on the back, but I remember having something from, from Lot 10 before, and I don't remember being, being disappointed. Anyway, that this can't be a banana beer or, a, or, the, or, the, or the bloody or the elder flower of misery I had. But um, small beer, small glass, so let's have a go at this. Ooh. Ooh, I like the smell of this. This is very, very IPA-ish. Very strong smell to it. I'll just blame the beer and the pouring, but this is probably me. Yeah, this is all we get. We get, we get, we actually get two pours out of this. So first off, it's very nice in color, and the the carbon in it, the very little, if you have a look at that, it, it's beautiful. The color's really, really nice, and, and the bubbling is really, really low, which is actually what I prefer. So let's try it from the small pot glass. That is actually, it got a good, strong IPA taste. There's also a little bit of a um, little bit of, 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 of caramelized sugar taste in it which I don't mind when it's it's settled like this this is this is actually quite good this is this, this is this is quite good This is really good, and I don't know if it's me, or me just being an absolute fucking animal, or, or if it's it's a general thing. But I like my IPAs at, at not at fridge temperature, but like at, 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 at as as if they've been in a cold corner of the house. So so close to to house temperature. Um, close to what's this? This is. between 13 and 15 degrees, I'd say, because the taste gets so much greater. And this one is, is it's, it's, it is a packing something. It, 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 it's nice, it tastes nice. It's, it's as I said, it's 5.5%, so it's still strong beer. Um, it could come in a full-size can, but then again, I think that one was like 89p from little, I'm not sure. But I think it was eight nine p, and it, it it's 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 a delight. It's um, hmm. this beer is definitely what I needed after all my um, horrendous experiences from earlier on, from the last like from the banana beer and and going all the way back to the fruity jungle mix and, and and then the the um elderflower this is this is smooth it's smooth it's a smooth ipa it got you can you can taste it. there's a there's a bit of the yeast coming in there there's the sharp taste from the ipa it's nice and rounded because it's not too carbonized and and generally it has a it has i must say for a cheap beer i've never tried before this hasn't absolutely awesome flow through it even as i said at the higher temperature that some other people might prefer that it it just it flows well smells nice it, it, it this has everything like the beer i had earlier today doesn't mm. i definitely recommend this one it, it's 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 really good it goes on a lemmy scale. It goes straight on a lemmy scale. At um, if you do the um, the whole 
mathematic thing from 330 milliliters and the 5.5 percent volume alcohol it'll be it'll be it'll be a pure six it'll be a pure six on the scale um but that's only because it's batch 14 had this been a newer batch or an older batch i don't know but this is a pure six so yeah highly recommendable really good little drink so yeah go and have a go at that one that was good that was good so that'll be all have a good one Ta-ta!